Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, dear students, today we'll see how arrays can be sent pass by value. Because basically arrays can't be sent pass by value because array are pointers. It is sent always by the, by reference. But uh, anyways, if you want to send it by value, how do you do that? So for that we have what? We have an array. And what we do, I'm doing is I'm uh, calling a display function where I'm sending not the array but the array individual element and that to pass by value because I'm sending a particular for example I'm sending this time one because when i is zero because I'm sending error of i that is I'm sending literally the one then I'm sending two then three and then four to the display function where in the display function does what it uh, prints that element nothing other than that it prints that element right what you are sending because here you, you will not catch it as an array you will catch it as an integer because you are sending individual elements right and then you print it print them up and uh, as such is simply where we are passing passing the whole array and you are printing the whole array uh, as simple as it is so what it what, uh, what what we are doing is in the back in the main and then print it back the whole array but the thing is that to prove that this is passed by value how can we do that uh, we see here in the display function what I do is I increment the display I say n plus plus the element you're sending you're incrementing that and then printing it back but we'll, when you when we come back to the main and we call the sh you know back in main call the sh and we'll see the array elements to retain their in uh, their elements because it, uh, I'm, I haven't not passed the array so there will be no change in the array element as such so when you call the display in the display we have the increments two three four five six but in the when you back them in we have back one two three four five right so in that case we can also send you know array element here but uh, the address of that so if you want to reflect back so when you send the address of that that means you have to catch what you have to catch it in in a pointer because you are sending the address right then uh, you're incrementing you're incrementing you have say s can value at errors plus plus right okay maybe you could do first this and then this right first do the astro can value at the address then plus plus to that that means in the first case it'll be one then one plus plus is two so now you're you know now you're incrementing the actual value the actual array because you're signing by the errors even the individual element not in the array then when you send the when you send uh, to the when you call the sh and send the whole array and you will print it and you'll see the change will be reflected in the sh we had, to, we had to do one more change but we had to say the um, in the display that this is not a int but it's the into pointer so prototype has to be changed now when we give it a go and we'll see that uh, uh huh there's some problem what's the problem let me see okay maybe i'm printing out the wrong thing uh, here yeah I have to print the s again means the value of the errors because n is not the uh, now the integer any plain old integer this is a pointer so it will print out the errors so better, better we say asterisk in direction okay now you could see two three four five in the display but when you, when you come back on the main and you call the sh and the change is reflected so this is passed by reference okay now what else if I if I if I do what here if I <coughs> if I'm not printing it <coughs> here what I'm <coughs> doing is I'm calling a function called show and I'm passing address of n what do you say about this I'm passing address of n so when you're passing address of n basically what you're doing is this n is a, itself a pointer so you're sending the address of a pointer so this becomes pointer to pointer so when you create a function via the show what you got to do is you have to catch this element but you cannot catch it in a single pointer you have to catch in a double pointer because you're sending the address of a pointer so maybe maybe I call, I call it p okay so how to get back the elements from here because here I'm going to print it I will cut it and I'm going to print it here okay so I'm printing it here but I cannot say no no this is not n is a p here but how to print it <coughs> I'd say asterisk asterisk p right now if, if you if you have incremented like uh, for example here first I increment the asterisk n plus plus okay similarly I do here asterisk p plus plus but I can say asterisk because it's a double asterisk now asterisk asterisk p then I say plus plus 
Now you get to go, but you need a point. You need a prototype of this, right? Let me copy this and go on top and put the prototype there. Control and just uh, run it. There is some problem. Problem is here. Terminator. So I got the. Uh, Three, four, five, six, seven, and I go back because this is passed by uh, reference. And as we see, uh, we have incremented in the here and in here. But when you're sending the errors of n here, you're sending basically the pointer to pointer, so it's a double pointer. So you have to use asterisk, asterisk. Okay. Uh, one thing also uh, to note down here that uh, I said in the SH, I'm passing the whole array, right? I'm passing the whole array. And you're getting the array. It's passed by reference. You can help out because it's a pointer. Array is a pointer. AR. So this is always passed by reference. And here, uh, what you're doing, AFI, basically, uh, you know, compiler converts it into the uh, asterisk A plus I. It's like that. Right? It converts it into this. So this AFI is same as asterisk A plus I. <coughs> So you see couple basically converts your a of i into this it, it does what it is it has the a a has a base address okay of the array the first uh, actually it's, it's the address of the first element of the array and then it uh, it uh, adds it to the index and uh, gets the address okay because the first time i is zero so it does no nothing it is the it's a plus zero is a so there's the address the first so it gets asterisk uh, a that is the value of the address and gets the first element then i is equal to one so it does what it uh, increments the pointer to the next element it does mm, increment it, uh, the four bytes because i it, it, it is an integer array is integer so if you uh, increment the address uh, which, which is the integer pointer with one it basically increments four bytes right so it goes to the next uh, element second element and gives a value at that address gets the second element so on so if you run it it's it it will, it will work fine same thing so asterisk a plus i it has no effect whatsoever so it's it's working fine right or you could have set so it's immaterial say a plus i you could have said i plus a okay it's one of the same thing because you have first uh, the base errors plus index right so if you give it a go it, it will work same even the third way, if I do in a third way, uh, I do what? Uh, usually we say, you know, usually we say A of I, right? We say like this, A of I. Uh, mm, get, get, get me the errors of the A of I. So, which is converted into asterisk uh, A plus I. So, because it's A plus I, so if you do I plus A, it's one and the same thing, right? So, if you do here also change, if I say I here, and uh, a here right so you see what i'm doing because because a plus i or i plus a is the same thing so if you do i and the bracket is a and uh, it, it it will begin same because in the brackets i'm putting the constant that's a that's the base errors and i outside so but because it's not like this it's really converted into a plus i so if you do i plus a or a plus i is one of the same thing so if you run it uh it will be again the same thing no problem whatsoever right so get your concept done clear there's no problem now let's come to the two dimensional arrays so here here i'm declaring two dimensional array and i'm i'm, I'm giving the values at the uh, at the declaration time so i'm saying one two three four five six so i have got three rows and three columns right okay uh maybe maybe i have another column force to give it more specific you know uh 10 11 and 12 so i got now uh four rows and three columns right if i get to go to show an error because uh we have to tell somehow um uh, inside because it's all in in a memory it's 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 it's, 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 it's in one row it's it's logically like this rows and columns but in a memory we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten like that so the question is uh now to tell us uh where is the end of the first row right so who will tell it it, it uh, where is the end of the first row it is the column which will tell it so we have to 
tell him that where is the row break right so that is the column number so if I say column 3 so we can understand because uh, literally it's like that in the memory it will be like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 it will be like that okay so the question is if uh, I have to tell some of the compiler that at the position 3 there is another row uh, at the position 6 there's another row so what I'm saying is by saying the column 3 what I'm doing is I'm saying the compiler that when you go to 1 2 3 uh, at that moment there's another row so after the three elements there's another row after three elements there's another row right so we have to tell it uh, the three the uh, the, co the uh, column even though we, we don't mention row it's no problem so it will not have any error right so now I would like to pass uh, this array to the function and call it the show function for example show and I'm passing it ar right okay and I'm writing the function here I'm saying wired show and I catch it into int ar maybe in a it's a two-dimensional array again I have to uh, specify uh, what is the row here otherwise it will not be caught okay and maybe I will tell him what is the row and columns I can pass the row and columns uh, to get the information here so if I have here the information for example I have rows 4 and columns uh, 3 okay I can send it maybe I have already uh, maybe we ask user how many rows and how many columns and then maybe we say row and column to this function and dimensions <coughs> So I say int row and int call. Now here we can put it in a many ways in a pointer methods and in a simple method we can have. I can say for for that I first have to declare int i comma j. Then I say for i equals to zero i less than row i plus plus. And inside it I will say for j equals to 0 j less than columns j plus plus and this is what i'm doing it here is i'm left percentage d double quote close comma uh, a of i j okay okay and when you when you come back uh, when you I get out of this for loop uh, give it a next row in the next line modef backslash n uh, okay and uh, gotta close this for loop here now this will have one error because I'm not specifying this and I have to also specify the prototype right so maybe I will copy this and paste it here control V no need to say even you, you don't say R and you don't say EC it works fine because we no need to specify the variables here because we have to only tell the compiler what's up there uh, okay give it a go now this will have a error one that is this thing that's our second will be about the column What's the error? So the error definitely is going to be, you know, uh, the dimension. So I have to say the second dimension differently. And in a prototype also, I have to tell that it's a two-dimensional array and we have to specify the second. Okay, give it a go and uh, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. And all elements is perfectly printed out, right? So you have to remember that when you pass two-dimensional array, the second column, uh, column is uh, to specify the column is very important. If you skip the row, no problem, right? Because row compiler will figure out itself, but he he knows the where, where I have to break uh, the line, right? So rows will get itself, but the column will specify. So if we do it in a pointer array here, so I'll do because I'm saying I'm an error of i and j. Uh, but in a, if, if I do it a pointer way because AR is a pointer so what I say is AR plus I right uh, this will give me the 
because basically the uh, you know uh, the two dimensional array is a pointer to pointer so basically air is a pointer but in, inside it has it is an arrays itself one array one dimensional arrays this is another one dimensional arrays another one dimensional arrays another so four one dimensional arrays i have so if i say ar basically and if i say asterisk ar and it will give the address of the first uh, first array so if i say asterisk asterisk ar uh, it will give me the one this element so what, I, what i'm doing is first is i'll say to get to the first row i'll say ar plus zero right or simply the ar and the asterisk of that to get the address and to get the value then asterisk asterisk now if we got one got, got here i say ar plus one to get here ar plus three and so on so i will put in an i value that's a row value okay row value ar plus row will give us the address of the row right and so that, that's what i'm saying ar plus i that's address uh, I zero, so it's for address of first row, address of second, address of third, and uh, to get the because it's address to address error is not a uh, ad, so I, I would say asterisk then uh, value at the address, so it will give the address of the first element <coughs> that is this. If I is one, it will be address of the four. If I is two, address of seven. I is uh, address of ten, right, and then basically i have to go forward also in a row because for example i is zero it will give me the errors of the this ar plus i asterisk gives the address of the one but i have to move inside the row so then what i have to do is i say if i say here asterisk asterisk right <coughs> if i say here asterisk asterisk here plus i so if you see it there's some problem with the problem the problem is I guess the AR is A I should, I should have said A not AR <coughs> if you see it's going to be 1 1 1 4 4 4 7 7 7 10 and 10 so it's the first elements 1 4 7 and 10 it's giving me only the first elements because I will increment so it's giving me at the first moment it gives me only ones, then four, then seven, and ten. First element. But I had to move in in the row as well. So therefore, what I gotta say here is before I uh, get the next indirection, because this gives me the uh, address of the first array when the i is zero, then I have to say plus j so that it gives me the errors of the you know j is zero, so first element, errors of second element. Of the first row, errors of third and of the first row, and so on. The J increments up to the call, and then give the indirection, second indirection to give the element, right? So when the I is one, so it, this one gives the address of the first element. Uh, when I say asterisk M A plus, uh, it's the address of the first element of the uh, second row, and plus J J is zero. So first element, second element, and third element. So it moves. J will move into the row. And this will give you the address of the uh, first dimensional error, right? So what you do is, if you give it a go, it will print it fine. Getting me? Similarly, we can have any many dimensions. Like for example, I'm saying three dimensions, right? So in a three-dimensional array, we have to specify how many. Uh, basically, it's a combination of two dimensional arrays: one dimensional, second two dimensional, third two dimensional arrays. So you have to specify these two things. That is, um, the dimensions of a particular two-dimensional array, right? Then how many two-dimensional arrays? One, two, three. That is the first, uh, you know, index. And you can skip that, or you could say is a three, right? And uh, <clears throat> when you pass it to the function, you are saying you're passing the AR. Then you catch it into the again using this, the the last two. Uh, these are uh, compulsory and this one is optional or you could say three no problem and then you pass on the dimensions to here three two two because it's three two across two two dimensional arrays right so you need three variables here ijk for the loop so three loops to be run and saying a of i j and k okay so this way you can print your two dimensional array and you have say 
uh, I'm, I'm saying here brunef backslash n after the uh, completing one row it should go and so this one basically prints the particular two dimensional array right then it goes backslash n and it comes here for the next two dimensional array then comes here for the third two dimensional array and so on right and uh, i think that's all for today uh, we learned a lot on in the arrays right okay until next time Maslama.